All right, guys, we're back with another Baldur's Gate video. Let's play. It is Lifting Titan with Realms Gaming. Now, let's go ahead and... Go ahead and get out of the grove. Let me get my bearings. Okay, it's going to be up here. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible, <laughs> or boring. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Where's the concealed? Oh, concealed hatch right there. There's a whole hideout down here. What? I didn't even know this was down here. Look at that. This is why I love this game, guys. There's just so much you can explore. Like, I've been playing this since early access. I had no freaking idea that this was down here. Like, at all. This is a, it's like a little kid's camp. What? You don't look so tough. Mull thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. <laughs> you came! I have... Here! Mull said I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. Aww. It's about you. I that's you adorable. Like oh my god, that's cute as shit. <laughs> Let's see, let's see what it says. Once there was a boy on a beach, aw, spelled wrong. He saw there was a harpy nest. He was a very good climber. He wanted to climb to the top and steal, aw, spelling error, from the harpy nest. But the harpy was very mean. She sang a song and the boy forgot what he was doing, but then an adventurer passed by. The adventurer was very strong and killed the harpy in one blow and saved the boy. Oh, the spelling on this, like a kid wrote it, is adorable. The boy was very cold and scared. He was standing in the water, so he was very cold, but the adventurer had saved him. The boy thought the adventurer was amazing. Oh, that's spelled wrong, too. The boy wanted to be like the adventurer. He wanted to be strong and safe and peepables and never be scared again. Oh, that's freaking adorable. That is so cute. Good job, Larian. about the nest you guys find anything good today no every well look who's come to visit my kids say you've been busy since you got here Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies gotta say i'm impressed you saved arabella from the druids don't know what those bastards would have done and we're happy to be helped now, what can I do for you? Anything else? 
Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. That ritual's nothing more than a fancy way to kick us out and leave us for dead. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark, but they're vicious. Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Oh, that's cute. Not long until we leave now. I need new pockets to pick. Um, and like I said, guys, on the all of the early access plays playthroughs on this, on my playthrough as a ranger, I never found this. So very good job, Larian, for uh, putting in stuff like this. Um, So very, very good job. Here goes nothing. That was great. Okay. Auntie Ethel. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks. <laughs> Are you harsh, cold, Petal. feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Aha! You take a sip of that, and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. Jesus. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along. Her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Nay hey, bother. Nay hey, bother. Be 
careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, pet. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Ooh. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. I don't know if he has anything I want. Yeah, I think we're good. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elterel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the hills. This place. Hope to forget most of it. Never get the smell of but between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas. My offerings are far more humble these days. No problem again. Damn, Troy. Heard the goblins are smart enough to poison their blades. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here. And losing track of the bloody druid. They chased us. All the way from the ruins we were poking around in. Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract. To track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblin's gone when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Easy money. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? <sighs> it's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but 
I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Of course. All right, so it looks like we need to go find the goblin camp, guys. Let's go ahead and do that. Goblins, no. Fill up ahead. Something's wrong. You're going to be all right. He's so pale. Stop it. You're scaring him. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. Come on, come on. Yes. Nice. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin. Ed. Please. He's with the absolute now. You're... you're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. I don't know any druids. What? And... and just... leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. True soul. Absolute. What do they mean? Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Jesus.
posts as soon as they need to. Vile parasites. Ooh. I'll take some sausages. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, stop right here. I'm going to go grab some lunch. And then uh, thank you all for watching, commenting, liking. And I will go ahead and be back later with some more episodes.